Hi, this is Visitor's Book and I'm Maya, your host. In this program, we're going to be meeting with diplomats and foreigners who live here in Pakistan, and we're going to find out what they really think about the country. So our guest today is Dr. Umar Yunus, a Palestinian dentist who lives here in Islamabad. So let's go meet with him. Hello, Dr. Umar, how are you? I am fine, thank you. So nice to see you here thank today. You. Me too on such a cold December morning. <laughs> it is, it is. So um, you were quite young when you first moved here from Kuwait, right? Yes. Do you have any memories of that at all? For me, especially like uh, when I moved from Kuwait uh, to Pakistan, like I was the youngest uh, among my brothers. Mm -hmm. So like I consider Pakistan like my hometown. Right. Like, yeah, I don't remember that much from yeah. Kuwait. Um, but you have some memories, like you remember being in Kuwait. Yes, I remember being in Kuwait, like flash time back, like right. not that much. But I remember the day actually when we shifted here, all okay. of us. Yes. How was that? Like you were so what, you were like five years old or yes, something. Yes, I like was. Five, uh, six. I was five years old. I just remember very few. Like first of all, we settled in Lahore. Uh huh. Yes, before shifting to Islamabad, like we stayed there around three years. Okay. So your first memories are from Lahore. Yes, exactly. what, what, What's your first memory of Pakistan, actually? Uh, when I reached Pakistan, like I was young, which all I remember that uh, the language was different. Yeah. Yes, because we uh, used to talk in Arabic in, uh, between our family and the country was Arabic country. But when we reached here, like they only use Urdu and English. So uh, for us, it was a new thing. That must have been difficult. That's the, uh, like the most memory which I remember here yeah. actually, yes. And like it must have been a very different like scenery that you saw compared to Kuwait, like Lahore, where there are like more people around. How, how did that feel as a little kid? Yes, it, uh, yes, it was a rush city. Lahore yeah. especially is a rush city and uh, like a green city. And the, 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 even the weather is uh, different uh, from oh, Kuwait. Yes. Like uh, which I remember I, we have reached here in uh, to Pakistan, like the weather was cold as well. Oh yeah, it was yes, winter time. Yes, it like was now. winter, and in Kuwait there was no any winter at all. Exactly. Like, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, how much of Kuwait do you remember? Like, what was the difference uh, as opposed to being in Pakistan? Of course, everybody was speaking Arabic around you, but the, the, you were living in a big city there, right? Yes, actually in Kuwait, uh, me especially, I didn't went to a school or okay, to a nursery yeah, yeah. school. Yes, at all. Like, uh, so that. I remember only my family members and mm, going okay. to a little like uh, hangout in some places, but like there was no any interactions between me and like a student or colleagues. Okay. Yeah, when I reached to Pakistan, like I in the first of all, like I entered a school. It was a Pakistani school, by the way. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so that all about Kuwait, yeah. like, which I don't remember that much. Yeah. But. Uh, my, my father routine was the same, like he was uh, working in Kuwait and when he reached to Pakistan, yes, he was also well. working the, here. Yeah. Um, do you remember how you felt about moving to Pakistan as a little kid where you're like, no, I don't want to leave my home or you were just like, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, for me, like, um, we were fine because, you know, like I am the youngest among my brothers. Yeah. So I was only watching their comments like uh, we are shifting to a new country. We are going here and here like we are. We were hearing about Pakistan a lot before coming here. Yeah. That's what I remember bit, uh, discussing between uh, my brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, like it was normal, totally normal okay. because yeah, uh, I was young that days. And um, your family is originally from Palestine, right? Yes, exactly. What, um, what was the reason your, your parents decided to move from there in the first place? Yeah, like uh, my, my father boss, like my father job was uh, shifted to Pakistan. And mm -hmm. for us, we came here for education. Like, yeah. Yeah, my, for us, like for my elder brothers, uh, which they finished the, their secondary school in Kuwait. 
they have to get to the universities. So for education, mostly for education, we have right. shifted to Pakistan. Okay. And what about Palestine? Like, was your father born in Palestine and then he left, or he? Yes, exactly. My father was born in Palestine, okay. and he himself uh, left to Egypt for studies. Okay. Yes. So then his journey like continued like after studying in in, in Egypt, and mm -hmm. he got married there in Egypt actually. Okay. Okay. Yes, and. Uh, then his job shifted to Kuwait. Right. He lived in Kuwait around 20 years. Wow. That's yes, a long like time. Um, me and my old brothers, almost all of them, uh, born in Kuwait. Right. Uh, by the way, I have around nine brothers. Oh wow. Uh, yes, brothers <laughs> and sisters. They're all here in Pakistan. No, no, not all of them. Mm -hmm. Like my sisters who got married, like they traveled out of Pakistan, okay. and my brothers are here. Yes. Yeah. All right. So how much is this whole um, Palestinian identity a part of your everyday life with your family still? Like, do your uh, parents talk about Palestine a lot or is it more of a, now you've lived so long out of the country? Yes, they talk about Palestine because, mm -hmm. you know, like, I think the whole world talk about Palestine, yeah. like, because uh, there is a, a holy places there for even Muslim, Christian, all of the whole world now have this uh, relation between and even the union between Pakistan and Palestine is, let's say, a strong union. Mm -hmm. Like so, even yes, my family talk about Palestine, like the, the people which I meet when they ask me you're from where, like you're from Palestine, so we start also chit chat about Palestine, how the situation there. Right. So yes, we keep our... Uh, country in our mind as well. But you've never been there, right? Yes, I've never been there. Yes. Hmm. Do, do your parents still have this kind of a nostalgia for their home, like they hope to return one day? Yes, like they have, I think they have, because you know, every person who grew up in a country, mm. in uh, his own hometown, he feels that nostalgia for it. So yes, my father keep talking about it. Everyone dreams to go back to Palestine, even if um, my parents, even us, because we are talking a lot about it. Yeah. Is it something that you think is going to be possible or is the situation too difficult to return? Mm, I hope so. I hope so. It will be possible. Like, uh, everybody hopes to go back to his country. Of course. Yes, but like, for me especially, like, I, I, I spend all my lifetime in Pakistan, like, yeah. So, yes, I hope so. Yeah, can get but back. this feels more like home to you now. Yes, of course. Pakistan yeah. feels more home to me. Yes, exactly. So, let's talk about Lahore. Like, that's where you spent the first three years. Um, what, was, what was it like growing up there and going to school? Did you make a lot of Pakistani friends immediately? What was it like? Yes, actually, uh, first of all, like when we were in Lahore, uh, there was a friend. Uh, from there, I have learned Urdu as well. Okay. Yes, yeah, starting talking to the to the, um, my friends there, I grow up my Urdu like. Did it take a long time to learn the language? Uh, for me, as a kid, uh, no. Like I have learned very fast. Let's say I spent month to month. I, okay. I started talking directly. Yeah, that's yes. the best way to learn, I guess. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I have also like uh, a brother to me, like he's elder from me, only two years. So we were together in the school. Mm -hmm. So like we were talking to each other in Arabic and explaining for each other like the Urdu language. So that also fastened the yeah. learning of Urdu. Right. Was it difficult for you to learn the written and, um, I mean, reading and writing in Urdu? Uh, actually, we just uh, learned in English in the school. We okay. uh, like uh, writing and reading. We, we didn't grow up that much our skills on reading okay. Urdu or uh, writing uh, Urdu yeah. because after that uh, when we shifted to Islamabad like we entered an Arabic school oh I see yes so again the, the studies uh, started in English and Arabic mm -hmm. there was no Urdu okay but uh, like living in the country we have to like deal with the people no? yeah, population yeah. so from there there we have grown our, uh, our Urdu language yeah no that's very important of course yes. um so how do you feel the pakistanis received you as you know palestinian refugees coming to this country mm -hmm. what was the reaction from the general public like uh, it was a good reaction like they were very welcoming us yeah yes so pakistani people was so much welcoming us and till now like uh, pakistani people always like the palestinian even till these days, like 
directly when they ever know that you're from Palestine, they start welcoming you, like, we mm. like Palestine, we like to go there as well. Right. Yes. Do you think it's a more political or religious uh, feeling that people have towards um, Palestine? Uh, both, let's say both. Right. Like, uh, uh, among this, we can say that's both, like, religious and politician as well. Mm -hmm. So you feel like most Pakistanis support the Palestinian cause? Yes, of course, like even Pakistani and even all the world, I think so, like yeah, uh, supporting course. Palestinians because their situation. Yeah. Um, so what kind, of, what kind of a job did your father actually get? He was, he was teaching, right? Yes, he was teaching uh, in an institute in Lahore. Okay. Yes, he was teaching uh, Arabic language as well. Okay, so he was he was an Arabic teacher actually yes. here in, in Pakistan. Exactly. How did the opportunity to move to Pakistan come? Like, was he offered the job somewhere, or he was like actively looking for an opportunity here? Uh, for me, like, I don't remember that much. Mm -hmm. But uh, like, my father was um, he was and uh, he like his education is high education in yeah. Arabic language and. So I think it was a good opportunity to come to Pakistan. Yeah, and That's he was quite all, excited I, to come yes, here. Yes, yes. That's did what he, I uh, all remember. Yes. Did he know anything about the country? According to my father, yes, I think he he know he knew about Pakistan. Okay. Yes, because he have a lot of friends and okay. from different, like even living in Kuwait as a Palestinian and having a lot of friends. Obviously, it will be like from different nationalities. Yeah. So they keep talking about every country. So right. Uh, even in that days, that uh, there was a TV, there was a news. Yeah. So they talk about all countries. Hmm. Obviously. So yes, I think he knew about it. Yeah. All right. Do your parents ever compare like what life was like in Kuwait as to what it's like in Pakistan? Do they have a preference to either one? They compared, yes. They, uh, according, they lived there uh, for 20 years and uh, mm. in Pakistan for right now 28 years. Okay. So they compare it because they spend time there and here. Mm -hmm. So like for them, both of them was easy okay. living in Kuwait and living in Pakistan. But they, they keep comparing that in Kuwait was a very warm weather yeah. in Pakistan like we, we didn't have that much like uh, in Kuwait like getting flu getting like diseases uh, huh. because of the weather so yes they compare they compare the uh, education school like the job even what they are facing like um, traffic traffic uh, yeah that must be yes, different. <laughs> different totally different between here and Kuwait so yeah they compare. Yeah. Did you ever, like a lot of Palestinians, I guess, have also migrated to the West. Was that ever something that your family discussed or you were always happy in Pakistan? Uh, according to like, we were a number in, uh, in Kuwait, so uh, like everybody, um, like the, the relations and the uh, friends of my father now, everyone went a country mm -hmm. to a country to yes, they, they're still talking about like what the, that family was facing in that country, right? Like uh, who went to West, who went to Europe, who went to Arabic countries. So mm -hmm. we compare each other like what we are done here, what they done yeah. there. So they keep talking about this. Mm. Some relations also uh, stayed between us and uh, the people which we knew in Kuwait. Okay, all right. So then, um, did your father get a job here in Islamabad and that's why you moved here? No, actually my father got the job in Lahore, but mm -hmm. uh, according to Lahore, there was no Arabic school there. Uh -huh. okay. So uh, all of us was coming here to Islamabad to give exams only oh, of the I school, see. yes, okay. for th uh, three years. Mm -hmm. So then we decided to like, my brother's university here in Islamabad, like, and uh, uh, our school is here, so we have divided ourselves. Who will study in the universities? Like, my elder brother was studying in Lahore, UET Lahore. Okay. So he said, okay, and my sister as well. So two against uh, four. Mm -hmm. So the biggest number have to shift to Islamabad, oh. and they stayed there till they completed their education in Lahore, then they shifted to Islamabad. Yeah, and how was Islamabad different for you? Yes, Islamabad was different because Islamabad in that days, like, it was empty, not that much. Yeah, even it was rush. a lot smaller, right? Yeah, smaller and calm, there is no rickshaws, there is no, yeah. like, Lahore, it is allowed, the rickshaw is allowed in Lahore. Yeah. Here in Islamabad, <laughs> there is no rickshaw, there is no that much noisy, so, it affected us actually. Yeah. The person who like live in a, 
city, which is a noisy rush. You feel excited all the time, but when we shifted to Islamabad, like we had that um, calm, cold weather, calm weather, like felt difference. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a short break. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. I'm here in conversation with Dr. Umar Yunus. So let's talk a little bit about the school that you went to here in Islamabad. Was it like a religious type of a school or it was just like a school that where everything was in Arabic? Uh, uh, about the school here, like it was, let's name it more like it was international school okay. because it is a uh, Saudi Arabic school. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So like um, it was an international school, that a lot of nationalities were there. Interesting. Yes, from different countries and uh, uh, like the embassies here in Pakistan, like every Arabic embassy get their uh, duration here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they go to the, they put their uh, sons on the school. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Were there also Pakistanis there or it was Yes, mostly... there was a Pakistani there oh, okay. who interested to learn Arabic uh, language. There uh, was Interesting. Pakistani, a lot of uh, Pakistani students, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So how long did you study there? Like all the way till the end? Or? Yes, till the end. I have studied all my graduation school, like oh. 13 years from first till the end. Yes. Okay. Uh, so did that somehow affect you that most of your friends ended up being like Arabs or Pakistanis here in Islamabad or was it always a mix? It was always a mix like mm. between on like I had a lot of friends from different countries no, like that's nice. uh, Somalians, Jordanians, uh, Palestinian as well. Okay. So these uh, friends a lot of Saudi friends all countries. Yeah. Is there a big Palestinian community in Islamabad, actually? Uh, not much, like, let's say, the families of the uh, embassy members. Right. And the student, there is a student, but in different uh, cities in Islamabad, mm. in, in Pakistan. Yeah. There is in Islamabad, there is in Lahore, in Hyderabad, and everywhere, yeah, there is. There are, yeah. It is an Asian country, but uh, it gives opportunity, it gives chance for studies, so... Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's say again that the relation between Palestinian and Pakistani are good. So there is a lot of students here yeah, and families. Yeah. So what was it like being a young kid here in Islamabad? What, what did you do in your free time here? Um, like there was a lot of activities like uh, among my friends, like my foreigner friends, I was all, uh, always the, like let's say the boss because I am the, yeah? uh, yes, I, I was the, uh, all this one here in Pakistan, so I okay. know more in Islamabad right. than them because they only stay here for four years and go back to their country. Mm -hmm. So every year I have a new friends. That you so would show them around? Yeah, show and... them around the okay. city, the places, the grounds, the parks which we go. Yeah? <laughs> yes, it was like this. What would you show like a new person? What was the first thing? Uh, yeah, like in that days uh, uh, there was like it's not that much activities like we go yeah. to play football like you know like the Pakistani community like to play cricket but did you learn us, cricket yes I was yeah. I learned <laughs> cr cricket but uh, Arab like to play more football right. so we were That's going to like to the ground and playing football with them mm -hmm. yes and whenever we want to shift to cricket then the, the rules of cricket and uh, I was teaching them so okay. it was like this oh that's so nice yeah so then after you graduated you decided to start studying medicine what gave you this idea was it your own idea or something that your family wanted you to do actually like uh, in the last years of school like i was confused between uh, going to an engineer or going to a medicine because uh, two from my brother studied an engineer mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, one from them studied medicine so like after discussion and talking about it, so I decided to go to medical field. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he was a doctor, like a medicine doctor. Mm -hmm. For me, I have chosen a dentist yeah. to be a, a bit different from him. All right. <laughs> so that's the, the motivation was. Okay. Did you, um, was it like a dream when you were growing up at some point, like I want to be a doctor or it was just like a practical choice? You Actually, in, in school days, the, there was a, the, the last uh, six years or five years, I spent it with a Palestinian friend in the Saudi school. Okay. So we were discussing what to do in the future. So mm -hmm. himself was deciding to go for a medicine. Mm -hmm. So like, it was a type of a dream. Yeah. Like, we were talking about it. We were clever in the school, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so we said we want to go to the hardest field. Right. 
so we shouldn't uh, medicine field like it was hard for us so mm -hmm. we decided to go for it yeah where did you end up going for your studies was it here in islamabad or somewhere else no like uh, i have went to send uh, there was a city oh. in send uh, named hyderabad mm -hmm. so like my seat my my scholarship uh, was there in okay. hyderabad so like I have traveled to Hyderabad. Oh wow! Yes, oh, that's so interesting. How long did you spend there altogether? I spent there altogether like uh, around six years. That's a very yes. long time. Yes, what actually, is... the, the 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 course itself of dentistry is four years plus um, uh, one year for training. Okay. So, like, I have spent totally six years wow. doing the my graduation and my uh, training as well. Okay, so I'm fascinated. I've never been to Hyderabad. What is it like? How is it different from like northern Pakistan? Yes, what does it look like? It is uh, much different mm -hmm. uh, from Islamabad. Like. Hyderabad is not that much greeny, yeah. Uh, and uh, the weather is there is also so much hot and uh, yeah. warm. Yeah, so more like Kuwait. Like yes, yeah? it was like Kuwait. <laughs> Let's say it was like Kuwait. So, uh, and going to Hyderabad also, you have to go first to Karachi. They don't have airport. Yet. Oh really? So you yes. have to travel all the way there. Yes, to Always. Karachi first, and then you have to go by road to Hyderabad. Hmm. It's not that much far from Lahore. Let's say two and a half hours between Karachi and Hyderabad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So traveling there, it was a new experience for me. Okay. Yes, and uh, I have met a lot of people there as well. Mm -hmm. They supported me in my studies. The, the people of Pakistan all over are so much kind. And uh, if you hear about it, even the Sindhi people are much kinder. Like yeah. the, the, when I went there, they see me like a Palestinian and they help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, so the studies were, were they mostly in Urdu or English? No, the study was in English, totally okay. in English, because it is uh, for medical field. So the whole study was in English. Yes, between the community of the student, we were talking in Urdu. Mm -hmm. They were surprised for me that I know much Urdu. Yeah. <laughs> they thought that I came directly from Palestine. All they right. didn't know that I spent all my yeah. life here in Islamabad. So uh, the study was in English. The dealing with the people was in Urdu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was that? That was also another language you had to learn English. Was that taught at the um, uh, Saudi Arabian school here already or was that a bit of a struggle to learn English as well for you? And, and, uh, it was not that much struggle because mm -hmm. uh, in Saudi school there was an okay. English subject they taught that as and well. uh, for me like I was prepared for, to go into a medical uh, university yeah, so like because know. my elder brother is a doctor as well yeah so like he suffered more than me oh. going directly from the school to the university so he just informed me you have to learn you have to get more powerful in English before coming here right. to to Hyderabad and starting your studies. Yeah. So like I spent almost, which I remember, four months or five months before uh, university only studying English yeah. and improving myself in English. And I mean, thinking about like studying medicine, there's so much vocabulary that's not familiar even to native, you know, English speakers. That must have been quite difficult at times though. Yes, uh, it was difficult. The medical field, like in the industry field, it is always difficult yeah. all or, uh, around the world. Yeah. So like, uh, we have to increase our efforts. That was like, uh, increase our uh, uh, studies and it went well. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think back, um, what would you like say you prefer Hyderabad as a city or Islamabad or Lahore? Which one of them would you choose? Um, <laughs> for me, like, I like Islamabad so much because like yeah. the, the much time I spent was in Islamabad. Mm. Hyderabad have uh, very nice memories because university, new experience, new yeah. people. Like uh, I spent a lot of time there. Uh, even my first dealing with patient was in Hyderabad. Oh, that's where you started so, practicing. Yes, yes, yeah. I started practicing. Like and uh, they they let us practice after two years from uh, like in the third year we go for practicing directly in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, like the the dentistry field have more practice. So I like three of them. There is a much difference between them, yeah, they're between totally Lahore different. and Islamabad. But, but uh, I also uh, give visits till now to Lahore when I want to yeah. go. Yeah. No, oh, that's nice. And um, I mean, you said you chose dentistry because you wanted to be different from your brother. <laughs> Was there any other reason behind that? Uh, 
not much. Like uh, <laughs> uh, I like the idea of being a dentist. Yeah. Like uh, between the community will be a good uh, like uh, name. Like mm -hmm. doctor is always a good name to be a doctor and. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, the idea of uh, dealing with the people. Mm. Yes, like den dentists have to de deal with the people directly. Yeah. Like the another field, uh, you have to deal with a machine. To you have to deal like a business with the paper. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dealing with the people, like it is uh, some unique uh, experience. So that's the most things that uh, let me uh, yeah. go to dentistry. And then you graduated and you ended up coming back to Islamabad. Yes. How did your first years as a dentist go here in Islamabad? Uh, actually, dealing with the patients in Hyderabad, like it was more um, easier for me because I was counted there as a student. Yeah. So and there was also a foreigner student with me from okay. Palestine, from Jordan. Oh yeah. Uh, so like the the, the patients were uh, knew that it is a uh, a learning doctor. When I shifted to Pakistan uh, to Islamabad, like um, I was the only foreigner here as a dentist. Right. Yeah. So, and you know, like dealing with them as a experienced doctor, like I don't have to show them that I am a learner. Yeah. So it was <laughs> difficult for me. Know, yeah. yeah, it was <laughs> difficult for me in yeah. the beginning. But then uh, I worked in Rawal Bindi. Mm -hmm. If you heard about Rawal Bindi, like yeah. uh, I worked there around nine months. Mm -hmm. and my experience grew up more. So, like, uh, and also, like, um, I, I saw the people like getting excited to, to getting treated to, uh, from a Palestinian doctor. Really? Yes. What, what the, were they saying? Like in the beginning, like uh, always till now, like when they ever see me, they ask me from where you are. Like, okay, you are from Palestine. So uh, did you graduate from here? Yeah. Yeah. So when I tell them that I am graduated from Pakistan, they get excited more and honored yeah. like, oh, <laughs> our education is so much good. Like even that the foreigner get I come here all al al along from Brazil to study here. <laughs> yes, so oh, that's, nice. Uh, that's nice. And did you ever face any difficulties applying for jobs here because of being of a foreign background? Was that ever a difficulty for you? For me, like uh, I, in my beginning of working, like I decided directly to uh, open my own clinic. Mm -hmm. Yes, because. Uh, like I, uh, I, f I, I'm good in practicing dentistry, so I see the people getting heavy, getting treated from me. Yeah. Yes. So I directly decided to open my own clinic. So I didn't uh, apply much for any job. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's nice. And now, since uh, how many years do you have the clinic now? My clinic since 2014. Okay. So yes, it's been six like years. Around yeah. six years, I am working Excellent. in my own clinic. Um, like it is still uh, a very different experience because like I am uh, having a Pakistani nationality mm. uh, and working as a foreigner. Yeah, Let's exactly. Say like this, yes. <laughs> well, that's really nice. All right, we're going to take a short break. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. I'm here in conversation with Dr. Umar Yunus. So, you, you are obviously pretty much settled here now in Pakistan and you also got married. Can yes. you tell me a little bit about your wife and how she came to Pakistan? Okay, uh, according to me, like, I feel like uh, everything went a little bit fast. Like after graduation from the university, I uh, started uh, working and opened my own clinic. Like I just spent a year mm -hmm. and uh, I decided to get uh, married. Yeah. So like, um, I asked my like my brother, my family, who you would like suggest for me. So like they look up and their friends uh, from Kuwait days and yeah. Uh, yes. So actually, my wife is from uh, a friends of my father. Okay. Yes. So also an Arab. An Arab, yes, yeah. an Egyptian. So um, I got married in this way and. Uh, Where did you meet her for the first time? Actually, I meet her in Pakistan. 
Okay. Yes, so the first she time. Here. Yes, she came here with her family here, and mm -hmm. we did our wedding here in Pakistan, in Islamabad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How was that? W were there any Pakistani elements in your wedding, or was it a totally Arabic wedding? Uh, was it, it, like? was, it was mixed. Like It was an uh, Arabic wedding, mm -hmm. and actually, yes, my uh, Pakistani friends uh, came to the wedding. Yeah. And even my Arab friends here in Islamabad, they came to the wedding, and uh, for, for, for me, it was an easy experience for them because they newly came to Pakistan. Yeah. So there was also like, um, it was a nice day. How is an Arab wedding different from a Pakistani wedding? What are the main differences? The main difference is uh, like Arabic wedding, they don't uh, wear the Pakistani traditional yeah. uh, cloth. Like <laughs> not as wear, colorful probably. Uh, yes, not that. Uh, and even I think Pakistani people spend uh, two to three days yeah. in their weddings. Like Exactly, even more sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> even more. And I think there is a step in their wedding. Like yeah. one day the, the family meets and then uh, the brides meet, but in Arabic wedding uh, it is not like this. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an, uh, day, uh, one day only function. Okay. Yes, it is. Uh, everything is already prepared before the wedding. Uh -huh. um, this is the main difference. But uh, for us, it was like uh, in our Arabic wedding there was a Pakistani food. Oh, okay, yes, so yes. you had like biryani and stuff biryani, like that in your wedding. Yes, <laughs> it, uh, we have served uh, a Pakistani food. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's so nice. Wow. And um, so what did your wife actually think about coming to Pakistan? Did she have any concerns about the country or her life here? What, what did she have a lot of questions for you? Uh, for my wife, like she's from Egypt, uh, l let's say Egypt and Pakistan are, look so much similar to right. each other. Both of them are a very big country, mm. uh, a lot of population. So for her, like, the, the thing also, the main thing is same language only. Yes, yeah, so the language, language was and the, main the food. Concern. Yeah, and the food. The difference between an uh, Arabic food and Pakistani okay. food. Okay. Yes. Um, the weather is not that much different between here and Egypt. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so when she came here, how? I mean, now it's been a few years that she spent here. Yes, Has she uh, learned six Urdu? Years. Yeah. yeah. How, how does she like it here now? Uh, for her, like a uh, housewife, uh, she uh, didn't, uh, unfortunately, she didn't learn Urdu. Not yeah, yet. Not okay. yet. Uh, my children, like uh, I have two kids, okay. one wow. daughter and one uh, son. So my daughter just started to going uh, to a Pakistani school. Okay, yes. so not to the same Arabic school. No, no. till now <laughs> she didn't uh, go to the Arabic school. So she, my, my daughter actually talks a little bit, uh, sometimes Urdu, sometimes English. Uh -huh. So let, let's say my, my wife, her mother is uh, learning, learning from, from her, her daughter. Yeah, that's yes. how it often happens, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's nice. How Pakistani would you say your kids are now? Like, are they more Arab or Pakistani? Um, uh, also, uh, according to my kids, like um, I am, me, myself, I am the youngest among my brothers, mm -hmm. so my old brothers have a lot of kids, uh, like 17 cousins oh, they wow. have. My, uh, <laughs> my kids have uh, almost Arabic community. So awesome. they are also facing the same, like they are uh, dealing with their cousins in Arabic, yeah. dealing in their school in uh, English and Urdu. So mm -hmm. they are, let's say, 40%. Pakistani, 60% okay. Arabic, <laughs> yes, same wow. as me. <laughs> so how do you um, keep your traditions and your culture alive at home? Uh, keeping our traditional, uh, because you know, like um, me and my wife are Arabic, so we talk in Arabic. Yeah. Yeah, she cook for me an Arabic food. Every day? So, yeah, every day, <laughs> almost every day. Yeah. So we keep it as, uh, as much as we can okay. uh, for our kids. So when we go out, uh, yes, we uh, again meet Pakistani people. So like traditional between us, it have to be like continued, but yeah. But is it that something way. that you have to like consciously think about? Like, no, we have to do this the Arab way, or no. or it's just natural. No, no, for you. not not much because you know even the Pakistani community nowadays like they also graduate, they know educated people, they yeah. even know Arabic. Like yeah. when we go outside, we meet a lot of Pakistani people who already know Arabic. Oh yeah. Yes. Wow. So no, like it is assembly there. The traditional yeah. assembly there without any strict or without any right. thinking about it. It comes. 
so uh, what are the major differences between the cultures that you notice? Like, do you notice your kids doing something that's you're like, oh my God, that's so Pakistani, like we don't do that, or is there anything, or is it very similar at the end of the day? Uh, not much, not much, like, uh, because, you know, like, uh, their father, who's me now, nah? mm. I spent my whole childhood since I was five years in Pakistan. Yeah. So even the Pakistani uh, habits grow on me. Right. So of like <laughs> I don't observe any uh, st strange thing. My kids do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like maybe if we went in uh, future in Arabic country or uh, then you maybe would then notice, they yeah. I will notice that. Yeah. 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 But is there something like that you would say is the biggest difference between the two cultures? Uh, let's say the hobbies, like, uh, right. yes, Pakistani people like to uh, play their sport, uh, spend their activity in, uh, let's say, different, little bit different way than us. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, they are more, they feel more secure when they let their children play in the street or something mm -hmm. on the park because mm -hmm. all around them is uh, like them, Pakistani, like, but obviously from the looking, we uh, known as an Arabic people. Yeah. So that's the main difference. Between mm -hmm. us and them. Yeah, just a feeling of being, the feeling of being a foreigner. That's yeah. It. Yes. Okay. Um, so you mentioned Arab food that your um, your wife likes to cook Arabic food at home. Um, do you like Pakistani food, or are you like? Yes, I like my Pakistani food, but uh, yes, this is also can count it as a difference between us yeah. and them. They like a spicy food. Uh -huh. Which in our yeah. till now, my kids, my wife, me, myself, I, I cannot eat that much spicy. Your kids also don't like it. Yes, my kids don't like at all spicy food. Really? Yeah. Whenever we go to any restaurant, we have to tell them don't put spicy. Uh -huh. We have to remove the masala. We have to remove this stuff. Yeah. Is there anywhere in um, Islamabad that you can actually get authentic Arab food or even Palestinian food, maybe? Yes, there is a lot of... Aside from uh, your house. <laughs> yes, yes, there is. There is a lot of uh, restaurant now uh, everywhere in Islamabad and Bindi. Mm -hmm. Even all cities of Pakistan, they have an Arabic restaurant. Okay. Yes, so there is. Popular. We can uh, take our uh, favorite food, shawarma. Yeah? Yes. Oh, like, that's true. Yeah, that's become very popular. Not spicy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite like Pakistani dish or like a regional cuisine? Do you like more like the Pashtun type of food or anything like that? Um, according to me, like I have went to a lot of cities here and I have spent yeah. time in Karachi. Yeah. Uh, while like, I'm studying in Hyderabad, my elder brother was studying in Karachi as well. So. I was trying the food of Hyderabad, the food of Karachi, the food of Islamabad, Lahore, everywhere I have eaten. So what I can see, like uh, Pakistan have, every city have their own special uh, dish. Mm -hmm. Like um, whenever you eat biryani, you cannot find the biryani like Karachi biryani. Right, yeah, yes. that's true. So for me, I like all food. Yeah, <laughs> no favorites. No favorites. Um, so this brings me to another question I wanted to ask you, you being a dentist, um, do you notice certain things about like um, when people come to your clinic that maybe the Pakistani diet is too full of sweets or something? Uh, let's say yes. Uh... I have spent now uh, almost seven years uh, practicing uh, dentistry. So yes, I have, uh, like the people of uh, Sindh, uh, Karachi, and mm -hmm. that place, they, they used to eat pan, something called oh, pan. Yes. So yeah, they, they dis uh, discolor their teeth. Yeah. So that was which I was facing there. And here in Islamabad, uh, especially in Islamabad, uh, mixed from the, like, from the villages here. And uh, so most of them, the water is like, the percentage of uh, fluoride and minerals in the water affect their teeth. Huh. Yes, and the food type as well. So mm -hmm. um, I have to f uh, even uh, notice this, like uh, the people who dr drinks and uh, different water. Like it is a big, a big country, mm. different food, different type of water, like different type of teeth. So yeah. So about pan, like, does it do something other than just the coloration? Like, is yes. it also uh, yes, it bad uh, in other it causes the mouth cancer as oh, well. Wow. So pan, swar, uh, this all nicotine habits. They're very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. they're de dangerous in the gums. So they affect they affect so much. Uh, are people aware of these things usually here? Um, not much, to mm. be honest. People, uh, because they use uh, this stuff since they are young, so yeah. much young, so they start. Uh, they are aware about the cigarettes. 
yeah. they avoid taking cigarettes, but uh, about this tobacco habits, they are not that much aware. And they probably think that fun is something that's natural and it must be healthy, but exactly. it's not the Exactly, case, yeah. they think like this, uh, they can control their uh, food habit by this stuff, mm. like uh, control their diet. It, it is in their life actually, mm. in their weather, so this keep uh, using these habits. Yeah. And what about this thing that you see like people, especially in the villages, using miswalk, like this um, kind of a stick to clean their teeth. Is that good for you? Yes, uh, it is a good thing actually yeah? because the miswalk have um, a material which uh, protect the enamel of the teeth. Oh, really? Yes, and hmm. there is uh, this I noticed the people who use it five times a day their teeth is much better than really? the people, yeah. Because actually, uh, using your mouth daily with a pan or with a miswar or mis miswak, so it is a habit to make your mouth busy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. making it busy with something give you benefit, it's better than uh, nicotine or uh, tobacco stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, it is a good thing. And is this, uh, I read somewhere that it's also like, um, this thing is also found in some Arab countries. They have something similar, Yes, right? uh, it is a tree, actually. It is oh, a yeah? tree. Uh, it is a wood type of tree, which have a little bit uh, more chair in it. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. yeah, it uh, gives the teeth a good looking, cleaning the teeth in a proper way. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, and this apparently has become popular in the West now as well, so. Yes, it is yeah. popular. <laughs> like, uh, for me, like, um, I know much about it because yeah. uh, it is my field actually. The like people of uh, Europe, they have found that uh, like the hair of the pig, they use it as a miswak. Yeah. Yes, actually. Ah, yeah. Wow. The beginning of toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, but in Arabic countries or uh, Pakistan, they are using this uh, wood before all this, before yeah. even the toothbrush. Well, oh, that's yes, great. Exactly. Another similarity between the cultures. Yes. <laughs> okay, then it's time for our rapid fire round. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Shalwar kameez or western clothes? Mm, western clothes. Okay. Lahore or Karachi? Lahore. Yeah? <laughs> Palestinian or Pakistani food? Mm, Palestinian food. All right, fair enough. Yalla or chalo? <laughs> chalo. Okay. <laughs> you say that more than yalla? <laughs> yes, actually I used it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Biryani or dal? Biryani. Oh yeah? <laughs> uh, first thought that comes to your mind when I say Anarkali Bazaar. Rush. Yeah, true. <laughs> Margala Hills. Beautiful. Badshahi Mosque. Um, calm. Yeah. Sea View Karachi. No, uh, nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite word in Urdu? Mm, Guzara. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing about Pakistan? People. Great. Okay, then it is time for you to sign our visitor's book. Okay. Here you go. All right, let's see what you wrote. Thanks for the interview and long live Pakistan, Zindabad. Thank you so much for awesome, being on this yeah. show. It was lovely having you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it for today. Please join me again next week and don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts at indus.news. Stay home, stay safe, goodbye. Mm -hmm.